education, training, youth and sport, the EU cares about them all. Since 1987, the Erasmus programme has been supporting mobility of young people. More than three million students have studied in another European country thanks to Erasmus. The upgraded version of the EU programme, adopted by the European Parliament for 2014 to 2020, is Erasmus+. 14.7 billion euros will provide opportunities for over 4 million Europeans to study, train, gain experience and volunteer abroad. This represents more than 2 billion euros a year, in which the majority of funds goes to education and traineeships, one-tenth goes to youth and a bit less than 2% for sport. There's a stronger focus on improving young people's job prospects and tackling youth unemployment. Five years after graduation, the unemployment rate of young people who studied or trained abroad is 23% lower than that of their peers who didn't. But who can benefit from these mobility exchanges? Students in higher education, up to 2 million, including 450,000 trainees. Students seeking vocational training and apprentices up to 650,000 grants, volunteers and youth workers, about 500,000 young people, and teachers, youth trainers and other staff. Opportunities here for 800,000 people. Creational national treasure. As it is the case with many civilizations, nations and countries, we usually remember the great accomplishments and moments in our history by important events as well as by great individuals. Croatia, a small country of big people. Croatia is a small and often unknown country of the world, but this fact does not decrease the importance and the, and the struggle of the individuals who have done everything in order to make the world and the environment a better place. Now we are going to mention all the important people from our history who we are thankful for the country today have, the independent, sovereign and democratic Republic of Croatia. We are also going to show a small part of our national treasure. Arrival of the Croats in 7th century The Croats belong to the family of Slavs, and they are one of the oldest European nations. The legend about the arrival of the Croats says that the area of today's Croatia was settled by two sisters. Buga and Buga together with their five brothers. After they settled in this area, the group started a country, accepted, accepted Christianity, European foundations and the culture. The King Tomislav in 10th century, he established the Kingdom of Croatia, the part of the European civilization. During the Middle and Late Middle Ages, the groups were in a union with Hungary in the Kingdom of Croatian Hungary and Austria in Habsburg monarchy. Matja Gubic He organized one of the largest peasants revolt of that time on, on European ground and fight for the rights of the exploited peasants. He gathered over 6,000 people on the area of today's Croatia and Slovenia. After the revolt was crushed in 1573, he was publicly executed on the main square in Zagreb. The conspiracy of Zrinski and Frankopan. They opposed absolutism. They were executed in Wiener Neustadt. The 20th century. One of the most turbulent centuries of the Croatian history with one great aim to unite all the Croats and unknowledge the Croatian language. Stepan Radic, a powerful politician, started up political activities and established the modern political party. 1991, the year that changed Croatia. After the breakup of the Socialistic Republic of Yugoslavia, in which almost all basic rights, human rights were limited, Croatia reached its independence and sovereignty through the Homeland War. On the first democratic parliamentary elections, Franjo Tuzman was elected for the first president of the Republic of Croatia. Croatia and international organizations. Today, the Republic of Croatia is a member of different international organizations, United Nations, NATO, European Union, as well as many other democratic, trade and economic organizations. 21st century 
Today we are proud that we had so many great individuals to our history who helped create our democratic society and the independent Republic of Croatia. Many of them inspired and led the others towards them in. The, the politicians are not the only ones who struggle for the promotion of democracy and stress out its importance. We can say that achievements of all these individuals invite others to come to Croatia and discover our national, natural and cultural treasure. Kolinda Grabal Kitarov She is the first female president of the Republic of Croatia and the important supporter of the women's rights and gender equality, as well as Croatian reputation in the world. We have national football representation. Two cellos. Janica Kostelic, Dražan Petrović. Croatia is rich with natural and cultural tra national treasure, which makes it one of the most visited locations in the whole Europe. Plitica Lake, Kirka Waterfalls, Sinska Alka, a night's tournament, Adriatic Sea, Gastronomy, Kuln Sausage, Truffle, Adriatic Fish, Pack Cheese. Krapina Neanderthal and Wichital Doll. Although today we take many of our rights for guarantee, this short, st this short story of the history of Croatian national treasure want to show that many sacrifices was necessary to reach these rights. In the 21st century, we tend to teach the new generations how to take care of our historical national treasure but at the same time protect the present and build up the future national treasure. Produced by students Luka Varga, English teacher Dorotea Vojtilov, geography teacher Oliver Kmarac, elementary school Vishnats Kroesha, 2017.